good morning. We were hanging out with Johnny. You've seen Johnny before in the videos. We are headed out to Lake Kissimmee. This is actually day four of my little vacation. And I don't know if you've seen the other videos or if I put them up yet, but we had three days and three days straight of fish over nine pounds. So I'm hoping, we missed the day yesterday. It kind of sucked. Almost, I shot the video, but it ain't gonna go anywhere. Freaking had like 20 pounds, but lost like four fish. It is what it is. So we are gonna go out here though. Caught some giants on Kissimmee, and me and Johnny both like flipping mats. We like punching. Yes. Uh, he likes getting out the big stick and putting the beef to him. But um, there, there's a mat bite. So we're gonna grind it out. It's slow, it's a grind. And last time me and Johnny came up, we didn't catch any for we caught like three fish. It sucked, so it better be better. So we're gonna go flip some mats, drop in at the river, and uh, see how it goes. How about that, Johnny? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bigger than that. <laughs> the juice, baby. <laughs> My vibe. Yeah. Step back, boy. That was a freaking juice. Dude, I didn't even feel him on there. That's a solid one, gentlemen. Oh, look at his tail. Yeah, chomp my gator. All right, see you later, chief. We're just flipping these these dead mats. You can see them out here. They're one and a half. But like, I think people are avoiding them because they're dead and nasty. And they are dead and nasty and they're not fun to get through. But I caught a nine out of here and missed another big one. And there's quite a bit of it, so we'll see. Yep. That's a big one. Heads up. Maybe they are in the hydrilla. This dude barely hooked. He freaking tunked it though. Look how fat they are. See, he's just flipping a one and a half and you can see these like junky, gunky, where my trolling motor is stuck kind of mats. But this is freaking sweet. All right, so a little trick when you're hooking up these beaver style baits. So most people, well, first of all, it's standard. You know, you put it through the head, you bring it out. Big deal, nothing new there. So most people would hook it right in the middle there. Well, we fish some pretty heavy stuff. So you can see it's a little fatter on the edges. I actually hook it on the side and I don't think it does too much to the action like taking it away, but you get in that side and the hook doesn't pop out unless something's like chawing on it. And then you hit them with all your life anyways. So the hook's gonna come through, but it just doesn't slip out nearly as bad as when you put it right up that middle. And like I said, you still get through just fine. And I think the bait swim just fine. As you can see, we're still catching them. All right, Johnny capped it up perfect. We are just getting started. We got like three fish for like 11 pounds and I found this little corner and uh, we caught, Johnny missed a pretty good one. I caught one around five and then one around three and a half, four. Um, and then Johnny caught about a two and a half, three earlier this morning. We are flipping any kind of mat we can find, but this little corner seems magical. The problem is it's probably all of a half acre. Like it's freaking small, maybe an acre, but it's, it's small and they're on specific cover. Thus far, it's been all about junk mats, but we did just catch one in um, basically like a little hydrilla point. Haven't gotten many bites in hydrilla, but she freaking smacked it. So we're gonna have a little more of an open mind as we look at some of this hydrilla. But all in a one and a half, I got the two ounce tied on, but we're gonna keep plunking and see where it goes, because this is fun. 
I just don't like them when they're small. The big ones are just like, yeah, whatever. It might be too cold, though. See the alligator? Oh, there he goes. He's just holding it on the bottom, Johnny. <laughs> I mean, all right, look. That'll help. Yeah, no, I got like a three pounder. Solid one, though. Dude, I love mat fishing. Took way too much work. Uh, I lifted it up and there was like a tick a tick. That's a nice solid one. Punching. That's like four pumps though. Um, and then you know did my whole dance right there that you saw. My whole <laughs> Get up there, Johnny. Get up there, Johnny. You're due. Due for two for. Nice, Johnny. That's a solid one, dude. Johnny's on the board with a yeah. thunker. Pumping it again? Yeah. Yeah. Hit it on the way down. What you doing there, <laughs> Good one. Nice. Feels good. I've been a while. It has warmed up, but they are biting funky. We dropped some of the layers, but we probably got, what are we, upper teens? We got upper teens, like 17, 18 pounds. Biggest fish is probably around five right now. But we caught some cookie cutter, like three and a half, four pounders that are just, they, they were chunky, man. But dude, let me tell you, the bite has been tough. They're like either knocking the bait, not eating it, or they're like I caught like the last one that I just caught, freaking I was lifting and like it ate it when you lifted and it just kept pressure on them. And like usually when they eat, eat, it's on the drop, everything, even when you're pumping. So they're biting funky. We're about halfway through the day. I think we're a little after 12 or so. But we're going to move off some of this hydrilla. Plan is the following. We're going to come back and fish this stuff in like two hours. Um, the idea being once it warms up, some of those fish that were just hammering it and not eating it will be a little more committal, I guess, and maybe eat the bait a little bit better because this stuff looks super sweet. What I always talk about is isolated, isolated, isolated. This is isolated. It's junky. It's mixed vegetation. It's golden. So we're going to come back for some more. We're going to go hunting a little bit, try some random stuff, maybe look at a few different spots on the lake and see how that pans out. If it doesn't, we're coming back home and we're going to pick it apart. All right, so let me show you how we're rigging up this, uh, this punch rig right here. I'm trying some new line. It's supposed to be this spider wire transparent stuff. I don't know if I like it yet or not. But first thing we got to do is put on some bobber stoppers. These are six cents. They're the best ones you can get as of now. And um, we're, the first trick is, and this is something my buddy Donnie showed me and it makes perfect sense, um, is you want to put two bobber stoppers on instead of just one, two. And the reason you want to do that is because these things tend to burn off, especially when you're flipping like harder cover. And that way you got two on there. If you burn one off, you don't really care and you don't have to stop, especially if you're catching fish. We got a one and a half rings weight. Everybody's obsessed with colors. I could grab green pumpkin or scratched off green pumpkin or black, I could care less. And then last thing we're gonna do is we got a straight chain hook right here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to snell that hook just like this, pull the line through, make a loop behind the hook, press it with your finger, and then wrap it around head of the hook. One, two, three, four, five, oops, five, six, I'll go seven times, that's fair. Then we're gonna drop that tag line through that loop that we made, give it a lick, cinch it up, and then cut that thing off right there. Slide our bobber stoppers down. And there we got a punch rig. You see how that hook kicks up just like that? 
we're gonna grab a bait and get back to fishing but that's the punch rig we're throwing i got that set up on a one and a half and a two ounce and that should cover us for what we're into Thank <laughs> you.